end. However, that's an example of an electronic computer. We also have mechanical and biological computers. The necessary and sufficient components of any functional computer are memory for data storage, an executable program containing instructions for processing data, the processor, which executes the instructions, and the capability to produce meaningful output. Many components of cells are components of real biological computers, equivalent to the components of electronic computers. For instance, DNA and RNA can hold prescriptive information or algorithms, and proteins can be used to hold, transfer, or process data. Proteins are the output generated by the translation process of a ribosome's computer system. Scientists have also discovered something known as the interactum, which is an incredibly dynamic network used by the cell for internal communication. It's like the Internet of the cell, where proteins, RNA, and DNA can stay in constant communication with each other. We also know there is a cell-to-cell -cell exchange of information integrating our entire body. So, how accurate was Mr. Gates? Well, in 2010, the noted microbiologist Craig Venter and his team accomplished an incredible feat, surpassing their previous accomplishment of determining the complete sequence of the human genome. They created the first computer-designed, synthetically produced genome, which is the set of application programs for an organism. This artificial DNA had over one million letters of genetic code that were then read, processed, and executed by the computer systems in the target cell's nucleus. Thanks to Vetter, these biological computers are no longer theoretical, they are experimentally verified. In an interview, Vetter stated, life is basically the result of an information process, a software process. Our genetic code is our software and our cells are dynamically, constantly reading that genetic code. When cells were discovered over 300 years ago, it was thought that the structure of a cell was very simple. With the inventions of the electron and proton microscopes, we now have a much clearer understanding of the intricacies of life. The cell is an extremely efficient and well-networked computer system with thousands or even millions of processors and billions of bits of information. Cells are the structural and functional units of all living organisms. Some organisms, such as bacteria, are unicellular, consisting of a single cell. 